Thanks to the Bebop Drone's GPS and flight plan, you can plan your flights directly on the map and enjoy the flight as a spectator. Before getting started, if you want to use flight plan in an area with no internet connection, you will have to preload the map. To do so, open the settings located in the contextual menu of Free Flight 3. Then, press on Map Preloading. The map appears on your screen. Zoom in on the location you wish to save and tap Preload. Once the preloading is done, we are now ready to create our first flight plan. Number 1. Getting started. To add a waypoint, tap anywhere on the map. A bubble with a number pops up. Its number indicates the altitude taken by the drone. To set the flight speed between two waypoints, press on the line between the two waypoints and use the cursor at the bottom to adjust the speed. The arrow around the waypoint shows the direction your drone will keep while flying to the next waypoint. You can adjust the altitude thanks to the cursor on the right side of your screen. Holding on a line lets you add an intermediate point. To delete a waypoint, simply hold it and press Delete. You have the option to buckle the path at any moment by pressing for a few seconds anywhere on the screen. The Scenario Mode lets you add contextual actions during or between each waypoint created. Here are all the possible actions. Let's say you want to change the orientation of the camera between the 4th and the 5th waypoints. Drag the icon between these two points and then tap on it to set the right angle. The Rotate icon allows the Bebop to turn itself on at the angle and speed desired. You can only do it at waypoints. The photo icon lets you choose the format of pictures you wish to take. Keep in mind that you can't film and take pictures at the same time. To remove an action, drag it to the top left of your screen. Note that you can zoom in or zoom out in the timeline using the touchscreen. To start the autonomous flight, press on the play button. The Bebop will take off and join his first waypoint if it isn't his starting point. Now you have nothing else to do. Just enjoy your flight! If the Bebop exceeds the Wi-Fi range, it will follow its path until the end. As you can see, the drone position is indicated in real time during his run. At any time, you can switch back to piloting interface with the video feedback by tapping on this window. If you want to go back to flight plan, there is a similar window. What a perfect moment for a panoramic view! Number 2 Fly safer, fly better. Flight plan allows pilots to have safer flights. In this new flight plan, we will fly low over the water surrounding the castle and the park. But first, we need to save in case we want to do it again. To save a new plan, tap on the folder icon and click on Save As. Name it and press Save to finish. To delete a flight plan, select it first and click Delete. Let's do an easy way, a straight line between two points at a very low altitude. For this part, we used a second Bebop to follow and film the one doing his flight plan. Number 3. Film like a pro. With Free Flight Flight Plan Update, everybody can film like a pro. Enjoy this last part of the tutorial with some footage taken around the castle using all the capabilities of the application. Good flights with Parrot Bebop Drone. See you in the air!